Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Tardy. Now this was developed and published by Dragius Games um, and is usually available for £8.39 and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a decent little adventure and point and click game. So we play as Ramto. He has no toe but he does have a ram on his toe. Oh something or other. Anyway, so basically it, it sounds like he's gone on too much of a mad sesh and ends up in an incredible spaceship all by himself. Uh, so what we have to do is basically find out how the hell we've got here and where the bunch of the crews are, or no. So uh, as for achievements, uh, quite easy. Um, obviously we'll get the few for story related miscellaneous achievements. We need to read at least one captain's diary, uh, open a window in the first room, um, read all the newspapers and fail uh, a specific minigame and find a cover of a music album. It's, uh, yeah, very easy, but this game is riddled with minigames. So, you know, I, I, I come in handy sometimes. Anyway, you're only looking at around uh, potentially between 40 minutes to an hour or so uh, to get this done. So with that being said, then let's do it. And obviously, we're going to new game. Now, what we're going to do with the dialogue first is uh, hit the A button, or the cross button. So just get through the dialogue by hitting the A slash cross button, if you're on PlayStation. And we will actually get our first achievement here for We Tried. Now, any cutscenes and dialogue, we can actually skip with the B button, or circle button. So, when we begin, you um, it basically, if you use your D-pad, as you can see me doing there, I will be flicking through. That's It's a lot easier to use your D-pad than it is to use your left stick. So interact with this button here on the left. Now interact with this button on the right, and that'll get us the second achievement there. One dream less. Because now he's like, bro, I'm hungover and I'm in space. What the hell? So once you've done that, hit the same button again, and then hit the left button this time. That'll open the door, and then we can go through. So again, press the B button with any dialogue and any cutscenes and everything. Just interact with this terminal here. And the first mini game begins. So we basically, with your D-pad, we need to go left, up, right, right, up, and then left again. Basically just copying the exact same symbol there. And then go ahead and hit the number three button. Yes, I would not lie to you. Hit the number three. So yes, I do apologize. That kind of went on a bit quickly there. Um, but yeah, so D-pad, rather than using your left stick, it'll just make life a lot easier for you as we head through the door. And again, a few uh, mini games going to be coming up. So the first one here is a game called Pong. Ew, Pongy. Now, if you remember, uh, I mean, old people such as myself will remember this. But obviously, it's basically just a bat and ball. So all you've got to do is unpause it and then just uh, click up and down on the D-pad. You've just got to score three points in order to win. And it's, uh, yeah, job done. We also done an achievement like this in The Invincible, if you've played that game and followed my guide for it. Uh, but yes, nobody plays ping pong anymore. Right, noisy sloicy, once you have won that one, we will interact with the rightmost side uh, object, the sort of desk here on the right, and then what we'll do is, now you need to flick the switch on at the top, and then with the big round button, you need to uh, get seven dots going. So uh, basically, keep turning it around until the dot is just under the second C and S right there. Once you, uh, once you should be able to open it up, and... Now, what we can do with a lot of items as well is drag them off the screen. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute as we interact with the leftmost side ting. And then what we're going to do is actually just pop a note in right here. So first of all, we're just going to read all of the notes. It's going to get us another achievement. So spam through this one. And then what you need to do is type in the word note zero zero. So like I said, with the paper there, we can just move that again by dragging it with the A button and left stick. And then type in N-O-T-E-0-0 -zero -zero, and then press enter. And that's another achievement. So once you're all good, that's unlocked. We can back out and we can interact with the um, rightmost. Again, the very rightest of right. Ian Wright. Sir Ian Wright. 
of the thing over here. And it's basically just another puzzle. So you got these little blocks here. You need to push these in a particular order. So just go along with me. So the first one we're going to choose. Um, so you got obviously yellow, top right, green, red, and blue. So we'll uh, click in big blue and then small yellow. And then big red, sorry, and then small red. And then we will do uh, click out big blue and put small blue in, sorry. So it was small blue rather than uh, big blue right there. Right, next up, we'll have to go, um, obviously we started again. So this time we're going to go big green, big greeny, hanging out your nostrils. Then big yellow, hanging out your butt. Ugh, go to a doctor. Uh, small blue. And then we can do small yellow. So yellow is the obviously top right corner one, yes. Right, next up, choose small red and then big yellow. Then big blue. And then small blue. And that will get the next one up. So now you have to do, um, just basically have to type in this code. So it's 603. And then the times. So 603 times. 709 and then go over to the hashtag at the very right so 709 hashtag and then 201 and then equals 4275 and that is what we need in so mr toe toe mr toe mr small toe mr smelly toe uh, now we can interact with the uh, middle console right here and then obviously we are going to be putting in Four two seven five. Once we move the book, get out of it, book. Uh, you do need to unscrew all screws. You know, you've got to got to work for those achievements, bras. And again, so remember, it is four two seven five. Press the tick, and away you flow. Okay, that's the first chapter done. So uh, let's just crack on. Can anybody hear me? Okay, so this is another puzzle. So all you got to do is basically put the down arrows when we flick the switch onto the top. The down arrows down, the up arrows up. So obviously just follow along. I'll tr I try and go sort of as slow as I can. So hopefully you can keep up. Uh, but it's better if you just watch rather than me explain it. What kind of maniac anyone on a spaceship goes, right, in order to access anything, you've got to do a whole bunch of minigame puzzles. That's a stupid ship. No wonder they all disappeared. This stupid. Um, unless, you know, Alien came and smashed them up, bro. So once the elevator has stopped, we can then, we will then be able to go to the right and out the door. Too many men, too many terminals now. So first things first, interact with the left one, with the, which we are right by uh, right right side of it. Move the book, and this is basically just a bit of space invaders. Uh, of course, uh, without the suing part, it's just space invaders. So it's the Y button to fire, and then obviously left or right on the D-pad in order to move. So shooting the crap out of everything, try not to die, and well, you know how space invaders work. I, I hope. And if you're young, and you haven't got a clue what I'm on about. This was Space Invaders. It was a classic. Back before achievements and trophies and console wars were a thing, everyone lived in peace and harmony. And then social media ruined it. So, since we win, we win! 
Imagine hiding precious logbooks behind, like, Space Invaders and stuff. Uh, it's kind of a good idea. Tetris would have been an impossible one to do, though. Anyway, once you've grabbed that, we will grab this magnifying glass, keep it over on the side. And then next, we'll go to the third most terminal, the third most exclamation point mark. And then we're just going to type in the code 250 and then open that up. Luckily, that's a little bit easier. It's a go, ram toe, up the mo. So grab the little blueprint piece and the key, or the, the uh, whatever that is, uh, the disc. Pop them over the side, interact with the second one now, and then we're going to go ahead and grab that same floppy disc. <laughs> um, again, kids, this was way before your time. Any young people, it's disgusting. And then what we need to do is interact with the middle option right there. And then we have to go scroll down to H. So scroll down to H, click the red button again, and then scroll down to 3 and hit the red button again. And ta-da! A 3D maestro of a fuse. There, Like, that's, man, that's impressive, dog. Right, so now we can just back out of this one. Next, interact with the uh, rightmost uh, panel by the door. I wouldn't lie to you, bros. Uh, get rid of the book. Just pop that anywhere on the screen. Unscrew all the screws. Open it up. And pop the fuse in. And then choose open. Then now we can waltz on in, mozi on without any issues. And oh my god, there's some dirt birdies. Man, they must have had a good time. Oh, so those... So, so I just... So there's two drunk girls I thought were all over me with just dead bodies. Man, what did I have to drink last night? Right, so once you've interacted with the middle icon, the middle platform, whatever it is, that's chapter two done, and on to chapter three, Wee Right, so this is a bit of a long chapter. There's only four chapters in it, and this is, of course, the longest one. So first things first, interact with the, um, uh, the terminal on the left, and then interact with it again. Basically, all we're going to do here is read through every bit. We'll just get rid of the cloth, pop that off the screen. And then we're just going to read every single news article. So you click on it, go through all the D-pads, uh, go, go through everything, click off it, and then go down to the next ones. Keep reading them all, and that'll get us the next achievement for reading all the newspapers. There we go, job done. Very curious, huh? I just want to compare. That's all I want to do. Anyway, interact with the terminal next to the pet store, right in the middle of the screen here. And again, we're just curious, damn it. So we're going to drag the uh, thing, the device, whatever it is, just off to the left there. And then we're going to click the um, bottom icon. And then we're going to type in a, another code. And the code's going to be 45... Seven. So four, five, seven. Tick that one off. Job done. And next, we're going to um, click on the top option here. That will basically now control the dog, and it will make us ours to own and to pet daily, hourly, minutely. Uh, anyway, interact with the billboard there just by the dog. So we've turned the dog billboard on. And then what we're going to do for this bit then? So we need to interact with that uh, green thing in the middle. What kind of looks like a just looks like it's on a hairy ball or something. Then you need to interact with the dog sniffing sign on the device. Pop the uh, cloth on it. Now, you are you should be able to uh, click a magnifying glass, but if not, um, just get just click on the dog sniffing sign again, and then he will actually go on his way and grab something for us. There was a bit of an edit there because I was messing around because I kept thinking I was doing it wrong, but no, all you got to do is just put the cloth on, get the dog smell in, uh, button down and he will grab us something from the left just next to the very curious newspaper stand so I'm gonna pick that up and then we're into the next area hello darkness my old friend my god I hate you all again right so let's just waltz over to the right and of course we've got another couple of minigame puzzles to do so we'll interact with the right one first now 
with these, again, this is one that there's no point explaining. You just, you, you will basically just have to follow, but there's one set of glasses as we turn the switch on, uh, or we try to, to uh, turn the switch on. So we'll move the glasses off, go into the next one. So basically you just have to use that one glasses lens and then obviously just um, carry on with what I'm doing, basically do the same as I'm doing. Again, it's gonna be one of those that will uh, be easier to just follow rather than me trying to explain it. We basically have to connect two batteries together and then the second battery to the fuse and then the first battery to the other fuse. So just follow along on screen and hopefully it shouldn't cause too many issues, but you've got to do it exactly the same as I do. So there's that one then. I know it does take a few minutes and hopefully that wasn't too taxing to follow. And if it was, I'm very sorry for the terribleness. Uh, but if it was good, then no problem for the goodness. So heading all the way over to the left, this is another puzzle where uh, we basically have to, again, with the glasses, 
But what you're going to see is like little buttons, little arrows. So effectively, all we need to do is pop those arrows where they're actually meant to be. So obviously, if you can see one uh, pointing straight up, that needs to go up. The one pointing bottom left has to obviously go bottom left. Um, one down equals down. So it's not so bad. It's it's definitely not that compli uh, complicated. Just focus on putting each one in the correct position before moving on to the next one. I told you, it's all good, it's all good now. Right, so interact with the right. Well, you can see uh, the next light, so the right one again. It's a another, it's another terminal, so let's just interact with that. It is a vent system, we're going to get an achievement, so make sure to just click on the red button about 15 to 20 times. So uh, we'll just get rid of this, uh, whatever the hell that looks like on screen, but make sure you interact with the red button until the achievement unlocks for failing the riddle with ventilation. Until the, that's how it should be, achievement unlocks. So spammily spam, spammity spam, get the spam in your nan, uh, in your mouth, sorry. Anyway, once you've got the achievement, then we can actually just crack on now and do what we need to do. And what we need to do is basically make a number two sign. So you'll need to uh, press the A button, obviously, to pop it down. But just from where I'm starting there, just uh, keep following along and you just need to make the number two sign. And for the final two, just go ahead and pop them, uh, yeah, just, just right there, just on the top of the lip, the middle lip, sorry, of the number two. So once that's done, we can then interact with the rightmost exclamation mark here. And then we can pop in the battery of sorts. Whatever the hell that is, it's going in. Let's do it. Close. And then we should be able to interact with... The third one again, uh, the sort of ventilation system ting, and then we can go ahead and just press the red button. This time, that will stop the ventilation, and we're all good. L Doggy can go up and pop on the button for, for us. Use the good doggy. Okay, so interact with the first of the four terminals in this room, just right here. And then finally, we are able to turn on the light. Ta-da! Let there be light! Uh, once Moses Jebus man said. Interact with the newspaper just in front of us as well. And uh, we are going to just pop these two bits of papers off the screen. We have to play a little game as well. Uh, so interact with the leftmost terminal now. And then this is another mini game. So obviously just get rid of the book, uh, pop that off and the uh, doggy head. Now, basically, we have to play two players. And what you'll do then is control one with your right stick and one with your D-pad and then left trigger and right trigger to shoot. So it can get slightly a little bit confusing. Uh, try not to switch them over um, because I was what I thought mine was broken. It's just because I swapped them over. That's all. But yes. So D-pad and right stick to move, left trigger and right trigger. Just keep going through the game until you find a mini boss in around a minute or so. If it's bugged, sometimes it can be bugged. If it is bugged, you'll have to just quit out of the main menu and come back and just try it again. Thank you. 
So yes, yet nine lives. As you can see, I was getting more <laughs> closer and closer to using all those nine lives. Thankfully, didn't they happen this time. Right, so now we can go all the way to the right and just interact with the panel by the door. And it's a lovely simple password. No, it's not one, two, three, four, or triple zero. Uh, move the paper and type in Riley. So R I L E Y, and then enter, and that's a cute password. <laughs> And this will finally be the last part of chapter three before we will crack on. So first of all, interact with the leftmost panel right here. And we have to do quite a bit of number bashing here. So first of all, type in one, three, four, seven. So one, three, four, seven. Press the magnifying glass. And that's going to be all like, yes, bro, it's 10 to do. Uh, so just press play and just wait for the little cutscene to cut out and play out. He's so sad, so sad. Right, interact with the right most exclamation mark this time. And uh, uh, an old ram dog or whatever his name is, is uh, yeah, he, he takes his time with stuff, doesn't he? Anyway, grab the first key from the boot print. And then we're going to interact with the very first, uh, the, the, ex uh, the, uh, the terminal right next to us there. So move in the book. And then what we can do is put the key into the first one. Now, there are hot, uh, basically, we have to type in or pop in these um, certain random numbers in a certain letter. So, but I'm just going to call it one to, one to nine as, no, as it would be a normal keypad. So click on one, three, six, five, seven, and zero. Oh, and nine as well. Sorry. So, yep, just make sure that it is looking like that. Um, in fact, no, it's not zero. So take the zero off. Sorry about that. Um, but then once we do that, we can head over to the left. So, yeah, rather than try and sh uh, thing you, uh, tell you about the numbers or the, the, the random jumbles, yeah, I'll just do that. Tell you in number form. So for this number form, then we have to pop in two, nine, one. Or was that seven? Seven. And then... On the second one, it's nine, seven, one, two, and then, and then you know what? Just, just, uh, just, just follow along on screen. It's easier. It's easier that way. So once you've done with that one, interact with the middle panel, and then there's three buttons. We are basically going to click the uh, top button first of all, and that'll be all like. That's the bottom button. We'll try that again. There we go. Top button, please, sir. And there we go. So now we could, we've got a new something to look at just to the left of us there. So have a look in there. We're going to get an achievement. Plus, we're going to find the second key as well. Spouse Devotion. Find the cover of the music album. Uh, so once we've done that, we've got the second key. We need to go to the right terminal. Pop that second key in. And of course, pop in um, pop in another uh, selection of codes. Again, I'm just going to call it, uh, you know, one to nine as a normal keypad rather than follow the, the button that looks like a J. <laughs> uh, but first of all, we're just going to interact with the right side. Um, new thing, there's a camera. We're going to put the camera off screen. And then we are actually going to take a picture of the robot, which seems to be dying and an honorable death. So give that a little smash and he's going to be all like, oh, I'm so startled. Let me go in shutdown mode. I assume that's what all robots would be. Hopefully they don't come alive and eat us. Uh, interact with the left panel, not the left most side panel, but this one here. And again, you'll have to do some switching of the numbers. Right, so just make sure it is looking like this. Um, 
Oh, and uh, pop in the four as well at the bottom of the second one. So make sure it's looking like that. Again, if you're having problems, um, obviously just feel free to uh, look back. As in, um, when we go over to the right-hand side terminal now, we're going to have to type in the Mumbo Jumbo keyboard. So what you're going to do then is put it down as three. So click in three, six, five, seven, nine, and then zero. So again, make sure it is looking like that. And now what you should be able to do is interact with the middle panel and click the second button. Now, I did actually mess this up in terms of, I didn't actually click the right keypad combination on the left terminal. Uh, so hopefully you've got this one right. Once you've done it, open up the Terminator's fingers. I genuinely did expect him to do the thumbs up as well. Kind of disappointed that he didn't. But once you've grabbed the key, next we need to pop in the third and final jumble puzzle piece. So again, slot the key in to Slotsville. Everybody like a Slotsville. And then type, and then push in one, two, three, six, seven, and zero. And then that should be the third and final one complete. And then what we'll need to do is head over to the left terminal and again, jumble up some numbers and just follow along. And with the numbers game done, finally done, by the way, we can now interact with the middle terminal, click the last bottom button. So click your bottom, see what squidgy noises it makes. Then you can go ahead and interact with it again. And goodbye, my lover. See you in chapter four. Right, so after almost 20 minutes in chapter three, we've got a nice uh, easy couple of minute one to finish off with. To interact with the only icon that we can, it's a terminal with drawers, that's nice. Uh, so this is kind of like a, a hook game. We have to basically put these uh, blocks in the correct positions. Uh, so obviously use your D-pad, press the A button to pick something up, and then you just need to pop them in. If you're a construction worker playing this, this is probably going to pee you off. Because, you know, you're probably going to think, why have they done it this way for? God damn it. You know, like the construction workers who, when they build a wall and every time they drive past that wall, they've got to tell their family, I built that wall, I did. See? It's just, it's just a proud construction thing, isn't it? No, this next bit took me the longest time to figure out. The longest time. Uh, by the way, as it turns out, if you press um, right on the D-pad or up on the D-pad, one of the two, you can actually zoom in and out, which I only figured out just now. So what we're going to do is just interact with a couple of th all the things. So this is the first thing we're going to interact with. You have to turn the computer on. So basically, in order to get through to the next room, we need to get a voltage of 21, uh, 21 watts. Uh, 21 watt voltage so um what we'll do is just move this it's it's basically just telling you what you can get to use to get to 21 uh then once we basically interact with the microwave we can then interact with the panel on the left and as long as it has 21 voltage on it uh you'll be able to click the green button but you have to do this in a quick order so what we're going to do is just set everything else up so interact with the third thing right there get the draw, and then what we're going to do is pull this control out. So we'll pull that one out. So we need to do four things 
in a quick order. Um, this is not it. So as you can see there, as long as it says 21, we can then hit the correct button. So first of all, what we need to do is click two and then one. So the first two buttons, then hit the microwave, then push the little green button on this drawer. Make sure that it's green and then interact with the left panel. And as long as it says 21, you should be able to do that. So again, you have to do that relatively quickly. So as I said, you need to choose uh, the top two buttons on the controller. The um, pop the green button. It was actually the green button that I was missing because it kept going 19, 23 and I was losing my marbles. But yes, pushing that green button and then the microwave and then the panel, that should get you going. So once we've interacted with the blue panel uh, by the elevator here, we need to type in a few numbers. So first of all, it's 482 and then press enter, which is of course the long arrow there at the bottom. So 482, then enter. Then, then it's gonna be 175. Okay, I guess we'll try that again. Thank you for talking over me. Uh, 175, then space, yep, space, then 8, then enter, and then again, 175, so 1, 7, 5, space, 1, 3, and enter. And again, it's going to be 175. So 175. And then space. And then 21 and enter. So 2, 1, enter. Uh, just hit the X there if you make a mistake. Um, I actually make more than a mistake, so I ended up uh, messing that one up. But yeah, so it's 175, space, and then 21 and enter. So on to the next one, we just need to type in one number and that is 286. So type in 286, then press enter and ta-da. And one more teeny tiny code left to do. And this time it's going to be 561. So 561 and then press enter, and then you'll finally be able to get to the next area. Okay, so interact with the middle uh, terminal. Uh, just give the middle button a bash right there. And it's going to be, you know, spooky AI stuff. Hello, good sir. Interact with the left one, and then we are basically going to interact with, well, let's just move the book first. Uh, get your book out my face. Then interact with the bottom left button. So the bottom left code, and then away we can go. So interact with the right one, and it's kind of like a you got to just answer these in a specific order. So first of all, uh, interact with the bottom option, approach the new models. And then it's the second option. And then it'll be the uh, middle option again. And then it'll be the top option. Shoot to kill. And job done. Thank you, sir. No problem. Now, it is actually at this point, you will get the um, Violet Shoes achievement as well. And we're effectively now finished the game. So, uh, hooray. So just interact here with this part. And then we are going to just blast through all of the book, speak to this gal right here who's been with us throughout the entire journey, and then that's going to be the end of the game. Now, for whatever reason, the last three achievements bugged out on me and didn't unlock, um, but you should now, just coming up, have all of the achievements done. This is the end of the game, so there we go. So, so well, that's it. Tardy is done. He managed to, what I assume, get off. As I said, you should have had these three achievements as well. But thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout-out, as always, to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members, and I'll see you in the next one. Big old tidy love nuts.